Hi, how are you doing, Council? I uh, really hope you're having a wonderful day. I really hope you're having a wonderful. I feel like life, you know, I hope so. Uh, this is your reading from um, June 16th to the 22nd. But at the same time, for you again, like 18 is calling. Like, I don't know, for some reason, it feels like. I should do from the 18th to the 22nd I told the same shit to kind of Gemini it's just like I have a feeling like maybe the video might take so long but there's something that's gonna happen I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna happen within your life on the 18th I feel like the 18th is an important day you know it could be you start doing a new like for you a new hobby uh new, yeah Really see, I really see it like that. That could be try something out within your life. Don't be afraid. If it's something you always wanted to do, if something out of the ordinary, just just try something. You know, it might be, it might be something that you would really enjoy. You know, and turns out you could do it for the rest of your life. Or just be with that. It's just like keep an eye out. You know, if kind of like somebody says, hey, let's go maybe to the raves, and you have not been raving or just never been there, never interested in that, just be like, oh yeah, sure. Just give it a try. If you hate it, you hate it. If you love it, you love it. You know, don't don't cut yourself self short, right? Anyway, the, let's start your reading. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want personal reading, that's interesting. Um, that's interesting. Hmm. If you want a personal reading, please let me know. I know this is a collective reading. Yes, it could really resonate to you. However, like it's a collective, it's a lot of people. Some things within your life might be untold or just your story might be a little bit twisted and you know, the collective, your, your story might be a little bit distinguished. So yeah, if you want a different separate uh, personal reading, just let me know. And uh, yeah, my email is in the description. Uh, let's go through this reading. I see you saving, I see you investing. You could be planning to invest in yourself for the long haul. You could be really thinking like... Really thinking yourself in the future. You know, like starting to really plan out for your future. Not having things that are gonna last one or two days, but having things that are gonna last you like a week or two. Like the long term thinking, or it could be dealing with money, long term investments, you know, like you put in stocks, you just leave it there. But you know, in, in future, it's gonna be really fruitful for you. It's just like right now, things might be taking their time. You know, it's kind of like planting a tree, it's not gonna show up and just bear fruits on the zero. However, maybe in two years, it will bear fruits, that type of shit. But you know, I feel like you're coming to a crossroads within your life. Interesting. Ooh, eight of cups and the page of cups and I did see the lovers. That's one thing I was like, oh, you could be dealing with the Leo within your life at the same time, or you could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, Aries, Sagittarius. Getting the other one, I don't. Yeah, you could be talking to somebody. Somebody's coming in fast, and it's kind of like, look. Normally, you do you you like to you know let's say hang out with friends. You love to go out and play or just uh fucking it's like even drinking, right? You love that. However, something is on the horizon. Like I said, something's coming in. It's coming in fast, especially with the page of cups and the page of wands. It's going to be direct communication. I don't know who this is. I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know whatever you got going going within your life. But I really, really feel like it's gonna make you leave everything else behind. Leave all the people. Leave all your friends. You know, just let's say you turn up on Friday night and just you decide to go out on a date you know it's kind of like you're looking for that special cup maybe you could be looking for love because like i told you i did see the lovers it could be like somebody who you had to thank for and they secretly had a thing for you too and that just like ignites like it starts off like you know like it starts off something and it's up to you if you want this or not because like i said you are the uh, are the close close paths within your life you can take it or you can live it. But it, it's gonna be like something you always dreamed of. 
something you always wanted. You could, you could, sometimes you could deny yourself. It's kind of like, hey, I don't want it, I don't want it anymore. But you know, within yourself, deep down, you're like, I could use that real not right now, you know? Like, I could use that within my life. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I could use that within my life. And it's kind of like, at this point, it's been handed to you. And it's kind of like, it's happening. And if you don't want it, it's still gonna happen. But if you let it go, you might be losing something that will be really good within your life. It's up to you. Look at this cancer you know? Yeah, God, something is coming to an end within your life. And I feel like your intuition is telling you about it. I don't know. It could be dealing with also a Scorpio, but some like an end is coming. Like a chapter, like a side of you. Like, I don't know. It's just like, let's say like you're turning from You've been single for a long time and you just switch that up and you become you get in a relationship you know it's kind of like you live you just you're living the comfortable zone you know like maybe a lot of people love like it's just an example i don't know why i'm talking about relationships i really don't do like love readings like that's just like what's coming out anyway your intuition is calling you out to this person your intuition is guiding you to really uh grow and just stretch your hand to thing to to the stars i want to say see what you can get you know rather than just sitting comfortable on this planet you could go to the stars and really see what they they look like they something different that you really gotta see there's something you gotta experience within your life at this time and you gotta be willing to let go you know of you know just staying in i feel like with a six of cups you might be having to let go of staying in and with the queen of pentacles in um reverse i feel like you might need to start spending money on yourself rather than spending money on others you know i feel like you really gotta put yourself in account you know just spend i don't know why, why would this two come in reverse it's about um Okay. Okay. It, 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 it's a, it's about balance. It's about balance. It's about balance. Okay. So something is not working out as good as you think. You know, so something is not working out. I want to say, like in your favor, like this, like for me, the way I read cards, I really want to deliver you the positive message. I really want to give you something that really you would um kind of love and just indulge in. It's just like when they come in reverse, I feel like some sort of way, you know, like you feeling defeated. But I think I'm gonna say it as it is, you know, like some something could not go to plan, you know be some lies going on around you could have told somebody a lie or just you could have just backed out of a situation it could be like somebody was coming in fast you know i don't know if it's a scorpio or something somebody could have been coming in fast within your life and you just ended that situation it's kind of like hey i don't want this okay let's end that and you know that just creates a sense of you know um i don't want to say insecurity i don't know it's just like it just it just hurts you know but with the seven of wands i feel like it's about time to I, I, I accept defeat you know in a situation if you feel like you really can't do it anymore you can't go anymore just you know live it just live it because it's coming to a dead end either way if you want it or not it's coming to an end it's kind of like you wanted something to walk out but it did not so like it's showing up you know the signs are gonna show up and fuck it if it doesn't if it doesn't work it doesn't work you put it to an end and then your life is gonna go to a whole lot better which is kind of interesting with the six of um six of swords because your mentality is kind of like stuck in this situation it's fucking grimy it's fucking also grooming it's fucking dark it's just your mindset you you just feel angry you just feel like you just act up 
it's just like it puts you in a bad place it puts you in a bad mentality it's just like as soon as this comes to an end like hey this is over right it's over i'm not dealing with this person anymore i'm not dealing with this situation i'm not trying to face like this is done you just turn that switch off i'm done with this in your whole life you're just gonna feel a sense of freedom you're no longer thinking about that person you're no longer thinking about maybe that job it's like hey it's all fuck it you just move on within your life if it's a relationship people come and go if things didn't work out between me and you fuck it the next person might be the one it's just like when you stack up on the same person it doesn't work but when you let yourself go and move to a better place there is a whole lot of people waiting for you. Maybe that person doesn't see your worth. But, but, you move on, you're going to see a lot of people appreciate you in their life. You have the Six of uh, Cups. Six of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, I'm seeing, uh, how would I put this? just dealing with you you know you, you're just putting that energy back to yourself maybe you talking to them boosts boost their self esteem up but you're bringing it back to yourself now it's about time to boost your self-esteem up and the universe is helping you it's giving you a natural the strength card is kind of like hey go 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 you know the next person is on the door with the knight of cups the next person is on the door things might not work out with the first person but the next one they want to rush in within your life they want to be with you like they've been waiting for you you know, with the six of uh, cups in reverse, I just feel like uh, you might be spending some alone time, you know, just with yourself. But still, it's helping you kind of recuperate. You know, you just can't deal with one thing and just let it go. Sometimes you really gotta like, re like look back at the steps you've been, how you've been going, how you've been moving, and you know move on for the future and you know what's funny with people who are like this they always come back they always come back and you wonder am i gonna do the same shit to you you did to me once you come back but you can't you can't there's commitment i'm waiting for you right here commitment in your life strong commitment promising i want to say But it might be coming from somebody who you just see as just a friend. Right? But like they see you, they admire you. And you coming out of that energy of feeling defeated, you just come and go like, I don't want to date nobody no more. I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. I want to follow the do with this. Right? But it's just like <laughs> your new self is telling you, hey, that's over. Fuck it time to move on for the better and your old self is kind of like damn in your life they've been fucking you up and now you're really just gonna let another person come in your life and fuck you up just like you see there's that collision that's happening within your mind space but it's gonna it's gonna go you know trust me trust me this person the way they love they come in as a knight they come in fast but when you know you get to know them when you get to see them when you get them to open their heart it's kind of like they want that stable type of love they want that commitment they want to really stay they want to be the one to lay in bed they want to be the one who spends your days smiling and laughing with you and building a future with you they have a love that you never felt before the lovers to see that and now you have the king of cups the tower seven of wands back to your morals Herod front king of pentacles ten of swords could be no three sorry five of pentacles which is kind of like your finances um goes back to that so there is a wish you made it could be something you always wanted and if you want something so bad you can't actually like, gotta walk towards that you know some things are gonna feel something are gonna really flow however what i say like stay with your morals you know kind of like if you want a relationship and that's why you talk to oh my god damn she's calling me oh man all right give me a ah, sh sh hold up 
I know, I know, I gotta talk to her, but people can can people 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 can wait. You know, what's what needs to be done kinda needs to be done. So I gotta get to this ready for you know, make that phone call. Anyway. Uh what I'm about to say and now everything just went blank. Wow. Um stick with your morals. If you always want a relationship, still if it doesn't work with this person, go to the next one. If you always wanted like to be successful in one way or one path within your life and doesn't work, try another one, but still don't really let what you love to do go. Just do it at the same time. Anyway, there's a wish coming true within your life. You just got to be committed to it. Within the work you do, within the people you deal with, you really got to stay loyal to them, you know? However, things that need got to be needing to change. You need to go in the king of cups energy. If you've been hard in the past, you're just dealing with some shit, don't just be too quick to defend, quick to cut off. Rather be loving, you know, just show the smile, show everything. Don't just pour out your emotion right there, you know, just be interested in people, be interested in things, but don't just go super hard, super sane to it because that's how you get your emotions hot, you know, and I might be seeing you really having that love of loving from a distance, you know, this person knows you love them, they love you, that you, they have, you have something they want, so rather they are making the move to come to you and really get that, and that's just creating everything you ever dreamed of within your life, you know, anyway, I feel like I might end the reading there, because uh, I just went blank there, so yeah, fuck it, peace, y'all have a good day, bye.